everybody and welcome to today's class. Today we are talking about, guess what? Today we will be doing relative minor. I had promised you about doing relative minor scales and relative minor chords. So let's dive in. That intro you just heard me play right there is what I'm going to use to teach you about relative minor. Today I'm going to do it on the key of G flat aka F sharp. That chord right there, it's one of the most beautiful chords around the world, especially in Africa, is the most used chord in every local church. So today we're going to dive in and teach some guys on F sharp and even other pianists who knows other 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 chords and even other keys how to do this. Now, in case you've been asking yourself about minor chords or relative minors, the class is here. Welcome. Let's dive in. From the word relative minor, from the word relative itself, relative simply means something that is related to another. A relative minor is just a type of a scale or a chord that is related to a major scale. Number two, a relative minor chord or a scale is that type of a scale or a chord that shares scale notes with a major scale. Like literally every note that you find in a major scale, you are going to find all those notes in a minor chord or a minor scale. Such notes or such chords are called relative minor chords or whatever. Now, let's dive in. I will advise you not to get tired about some of the theories I'm going to throw in, but I'm going to go through this major scale first for you to understand what relative minor simply means or imply. An F sharp major scale looks like this. We begin with the finger two. We have our one, two, three, then we have our four right there, then we have our five, our six, our seven, then our Okay, so our one right here is F sharp, our two is a G sharp or A flat, then our third is a B flat or an A sharp, our four is a B, then our five is a C sharp or a D flat, then our six is a D sharp or an E flat, then our seven becomes our F right there, then finally our F sharp there, which makes that scale, and it sounds like that. Now, the chord of an F sharp major looks like this in the root position. Okay, we have our F sharp for the one, our three, we're going to have our B flat there or an A sharp, then our C sharp for the five. So, together we'll have that chord like right there. So if you want to sound this chord in the root position, just pick the F, the C sharp, which is a five, and another F right here, play it together, and pick that root position of an F sharp. Then you're going to have a reach chord right there. Okay? Now, when we are talking about relative minor, we are saying, another chord that shares notes with this chord. Now, mostly that chord or that note that shares every other note in its minor scale, like a major scale, is usually the sixth degree. Do not worry about so much of these theories, but you'll understand. If you take an F sharp here, everybody take your F sharp right here, then you come back to steps like from here you count from here one two okay so this is an f sharp this is a seven this is what we call a flat seven now after the flat seven this is what we call the six here this six is that chord or that note that is relative to an F sharp because look at 
the scale of its minor, how it looks like. Every note that is present in an E flat minor is basically every note that are found in an F sharp major. So this brings me to my third definition of a relative minor. You can say it is just a major scale beginning on another on a sixth degree. It's just a major scale beginning on a sixth degree. Like so it begins like this. So you see, there is no much uh, disparity or difference with, be, be, between a major and its relative minor. My fourth definition to the same is a relative minor is just a chord or a note that can be used to replace a one because it shares most of its notes. Like for instance, every of its notes okay go experiment on every other note even on c you can see it has the same thing now what is the sixth degree of an c so look at an a minor literally every note that is here is is used to be played in the stead of a one all right now let's see some of the application of how you can use this relative minor to play instead of a major. This is an F sharp. This chord I'm playing here is just an F sharp but this first inversion. The root position of an F sharp major looks like this. If I invert it, I play this one from the top here, then I, I will have this chord instead. Like that. If I invert this chord, I'll play this one instead of this, then I'll have this. So these are three more ways of playing an F sharp instead of playing this root position. Okay, just refer on my videos about how to invert chords and you'll get every explanation that you want or you're looking for about inversions, enough of that. Now, you just um, heard my very beautiful intro that I was playing right there. All right? I was doing this. Now, first of all, for us to see how to apply relative minor, we need to identify a major chord which we're going to replace and identify the minor chord which is going to replace that major. Now, like I was saying, this note here is the sixth degree of an F sharp major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. For those who don't like theory, please you'll have to bear with me today. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to play this sixth degree is an E flat minor. This is an E. So this black note is an E flat minor. Or you can also call it D sharp because it comes after the D. So this is a D sharp minor. So I'm going to play a D sharp minor. And a D sharp minor looks like this. If you're not keen, you might think you're playing an F sharp major. Because everything is black in here. Do you hear how it sounds? So, I have the liberty of playing like this. Okay? But instead, I'm replacing this. But instead of playing this, I'm playing this. Instead of playing here, it's still here. Here. Another one here. All these are inversions. So this is E flat minor. I'm going to use it. So instead of playing like this, I'm going to play. Okay. 
Another thing that I'm replacing here is this. This chord is called an A flat minor or G sharp minor. Refer to my videos about enharmonic chords or enharmonic notes. So this note, guess I'm replacing which chord? I'm replacing a B with this chord. Relative minor because a G sharp is the sixth degree of a B. And the B is the fourth degree of an F sharp major scale. One, two, three, four. This chord usually play like this. This chord is a B and is a fourth degree. Now, another chord I want to teach you is I don't I'm not teaching you per se, but I just want to touch on because I'm going to replace that one too. Is a C sharp. A C sharp is the fifth degree of an F sharp. What is the sixth degree of a C sharp? A B flat is a sixth degree of a C sharp. So I'm going to use the relative minors of this chord, F sharp, the relative minor of a B, a relative minor of a C sharp to replace these chords. Now, the relative minor of an F sharp, like I had mentioned, is an E flat. The relative minor of a 4, which is a B, is a G sharp, which is the sixth degree of a B major scale. Then, the relative minor of a C sharp is an A sharp or a B flat minor. this together we have this minor chord these three minor chords we have E flat minor G sharp minor B flat minor again E flat minor or a D, flat, D sharp minor G sharp minor or an A flat minor A sharp minor or a B flat minor then back like that. So together have this. with the replacement. Now, you see? Now, instead of my F sharp major, I'm going to play the B flat, the E flat minor. Then instead of B, I'm going to play G sharp minor. Then instead of a C sharp, I'm going to play B flat minor. Now, hear how it's going to sound together.
ahead and practice as much as you can okay I'm just playing in the simplest way that I can so that you could understand this concept they're not so difficult for you to get it they're not difficult for you to understand so until the next class please practice 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 until you get it practice even on other keys if you can and my advice is learn every key of the piano stop speaking on a one one basic key like that okay just move away from it move away from it okay